Hey y'all, we're on problem number 14. Um, it is a conversion problem. Um, we have two things going on. We have the River Birch Street, so I'm going to call that RBT. RBT. And then we have GOT, so I'm going to put GOT. Uh, we can see that the River Birch Tree is two feet every four years and we're trying to get both the river birch tree and the great oak tree in inches per month so as you can see we have feet here so we know feet convert to inches and how many inches are in a foot I think most people know 12 and one foot and then we need years to be in months so I have year and I have month. So one year is 12 months. So my feet and my feet cancel, my year and my year cancel, and I'm left with inches per month, inches per month. That's what we want to convert them both to. So up top, I'm left with two times 12. And the denominator, I'm left with four times 12. Um, if you wanted to, you could do 2 times 12, 4 times 12, and then divide. I see that these numbers are the same, so I'm going to go ahead and divide those now. 12 divided by 12 is just 1, so they cancel out. And we're left with 2 fourths, which is just 1 half. So this is 1 half inch per month, and that's our river birch tree. So let's go ahead and do our great oak tree. And our great oak is 18 inches every year. So I'm going to put my 18 inches every year. And I need to get it to inches per month. So we're good on the inches, but we need this years to be in months. So we're going to have years and we have months. And we all know that one year has 12 months year, year, and we're left with inches per month. So I'm going to pull out my numbers. 18 times 1 is 18. 1 times 12 is 12. And then 18 twelfths is 1.5 or 1 half, however you want to think of it. I'm going to put 1.5 inches per month. So the question said, what is the difference in the rate of growth of the river bircha tree and the great oak tree? So this is my river bircha and this is my great oak. So I subtract the two. One half is the same thing as 0 0.5. 1 0.5 minus 0 0.5 is one. Think of this 50 cents. 150 minus 50 cents is a dollar. So it's one inch every month. When we look at problem number 15, this is just like a literary equation. So go ahead and take some time to go ahead and read it for me. So in this problem, we can see that we are trying to solve or B1. So we have A is equal to one half the height B1 plus B2. First thing I would get rid of is the one half. So to get rid of that, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. All this is together though. This is where most people start to get confused. All this is together. So I'm going to multiply this side by 2. So we get 2a. I'm going to actually do that in a different color. So we're going to multiply this whole side by 2. And we'll multiply this side by 2. So we get our 2a here. And the funny thing about this is when we multiply this side by 2, it cancels out with the 1 half. So all I have left is my h and my B1 plus B2. Now I divide both sides by H. So I'm left with 2A 
H, and then we have B1 plus B2. And then we just subtract the B2 on both sides. So we get 2A over H minus B2 is equal to B1. This problem is a problem that just takes practice. The most difficult thing or concept that most students have on this problem is this first step, understanding why you can multiply both sides by 2. Because most students, once they get to this point, it's fairly simple. Divide by H, you can see that. Subtract B2. It's this first step. So please take time to make sure you fully understand this part. Um, from this, you can see that the answer is D. Um, so let's go through problem number 16. It says, what is the slope of the line parallel to 5x minus 15? Y is equal to 5. Well, of course, first we need to know what this slope is. So we need to solve for Y. So I'm going to subtract 5x, subtract 5x. And we're left with negative 15y is equal to negative 5x plus 5. And then we just divide everything by negative 15. So we can see that y is equal to a negative. A negative is a positive. This reduces to 1 third or simplifies to 1 third. And this reduces to a negative 1 third. Or simplify, excuse me. So in this problem, we can tell that the slope is one-third because the only thing we care about is the number in front of x since we're trying to figure out what the slope is. And we know parallel is same slope. So that means the parallel is going to be one-third as well. And you're done with that problem. And when we look at the second part of number 16 it says what is the slope of the line perpendicular to 5x minus and that should be a y here that's a typo um, so we do the same thing subtract 5x the furthest thing away and actually it's the same problem as here so we know we're going to have y is equal to one third x minus one third we can follow the same steps that we did over here and we know the slope is one-third. But if I want to find the perpendicular, we have to recognize that it's what we call opposite reciprocal. So that means we change sign. And flip. So this becomes m is equal to negative 3. It was positive, now it's negative. When we flip this, it becomes 3 over 1. And we're advanced math students, so we know 3 over 1 is just 3. And that's why how we get negative 3. Because positive, negative, when we flip it, we get that. Um, and that is it. Um, I believe we have one more problem, and we'll be done with this study guide.